Hi everyone, hope you're all well. As you've seen by the title today, I'm back with a new video and that is a haul. I have some amazing products I have to share with you today and I'm saying amazing because some of them, I tested them and I just kept holding on to these just to share them in a haul with you because they're so awesome that I want to talk about them. And also I would like to say a huge, huge thank you for sticking here with me. I know I haven't been too consistent lately because, you know, sometimes life gets in the way, but I can only promise you that I will try my best for the next few months to get back to my schedule and upload once a week. But yeah, without further ado now, I'm going to get straight into the video. I have two items that have been sent to me and everything else was purchased with my own money. I have two items from Romwe. They're always amazing sending me products every single month. And I want to share this month's products with you because they're awesome. The first one is this top I'm wearing at the moment. Oh my God, I'm going to insert a picture here so you can see it better. But I love it so much. The fabric is so amazing. It's such a nice slouchy top for everyday wear. And I don't know, I just love me some stripes. So I really, really love it. And the other thing is, by the way, I went with an XL. This is how it looks on me. It's quite like oversized on me. So I would say go a size up if you want something more tight or go a few sizes up. As I said, I'm an M and I got an XL and that's how it fits me. But yeah, I really, really love it. And the underneath of it is so soft. I just can't get over it. The fabric of this is amazing. Another thing they sent me that I was actually wearing before the video started are these jeans. Again, I'm going to insert a picture here so you can see them better. But oh my God, these jeans, guys, they're just so amazing. First of all, the quality is awesome and they look really, really good on. But keep in mind, when you choose your uh, size, I chose an L in mine, so I went a size up. And I have to say, they look really nice, but they're quite tight. They don't have any stretch in them, so keep that in mind. I would recommend actually going two sizes up if you want something that's more comfortable. But yeah, let's get into all the products that I actually I bought. And by the way, links are going to be down below. The earrings been previously sent to me as well, but I pre presented them to you in a haul before. But I just want to mention them because they're just so beautiful. And on the lips, I'm wearing NYX Embellishment and World uh, Lip Liner from MAC. Right, let's get into it now. The first item I want to mention to you guys today is this shampoo from Neutrogena Tea Gel. It is for scalp psoriasis, for dermatitis, dandruff, dry itching scalp, stuff like that. I have problems with my scalp, I have mentioned it previously, and I find it really hard when that kicks in, like my psoriasis kicks in, to find anything that works out for me. As a girl, you know the struggle, to, to be honest, it's not even as a girl, anyone, you know the struggle if you have this, how bad it is, because people look at you and if you have any flakiness or anything, they might think you didn't wash your hair, and I know that might sound like, oh, it's not right, but it is, a lot of people just look at you and be like, oh, what's your new hair, what's right, oh, you should wash your hair, but I would wash my hair every single day when that happens, and it doesn't go away, it just gets worse because it gets dry. Anyway, getting back to this, this was amazing. Uh, my All my flakiness went away in the first shampoo. Uh, I think that your scalp might get used to it. And another thing to mention is that if you are have a really, really sensitive scalp, as I do as well, uh, this might actually do some damage. But I don't know, it does smell of, uh, is it sulfur? Sol I don't know how to pronounce that, but yeah, it smells like that. It has like a weird yellowy browny uh, color to it and it's really like thick and gooey. But yeah, it done wonders for me, so I would recommend if you have issues to try this on. I have here some uh, face masks that I purchased. Some of them you will notice how long these has been. I've been gathering these products since December, so it's been months and months since I bought them since January actually, January, not December. Right, so the first thing I grabbed is this uh, face mask, is a panda face mask, fiber face mask with ingredients from Korea. This was in Boots and is with green tea and apple. I haven't tested it yet, but it's really cute. It has like this panda shape, so I'm looking forward to test it. I also bought some um, face mask from TK Maxx and I got this one, the Bombi uh, black honey mask pack. I've seen this in a few people's favorites So I'm looking forward to test it and also I have these two sets from Christian Breton uh, One of them is with hyalur hyaluronic acid and green tea and one is with Q10 and pro vitamin B5 They look really good. I haven't tested them yet. They were the original price is £39 and they're a dime to £6.99 each and they also contain free masks in each packet so I'm really looking forward to test this one out. Another product that I purchased from Boots when I got that panda mask was this and yet another Korean looking product and it's a hand cream with cherry blossom. I'll have to be honest I have 
many many hand creams and I only purchased this one because of its cute packaging but yeah I just couldn't give it a miss uh what else did I buy oh yeah I finished so many perfumes. I finished 10 perfumes lately. I'm actually going to do an empties with them just because I want to talk about them a bit. But I got a bit freaked out by it. So I had to go and purchase another perfume. And I got this from Jimmy Choo. Uh, it's called Blossom. It looks beautiful, beautiful. I have to show the packaging just because it's really, really nice. And it does smell really nice as well. And now that I finally put it in my haul, I can't wait to actually use it. It smells like sweet, but like strong in the same time and florally. It's really nice and usually I'm not a florally type of, you know, smells. Uh, not usually a florally type of smells. I'm losing it. You can you can tell I haven't filmed in over a month, can you? Because my words are not with me today. But yeah, it's florally and I want to say usually I'm not a florally type of girl, like when it comes to scents. But this one is actually really, really nice. What else did we purchase? Oh yeah, I have this, um, a lot of you asked me in, in the past to do a Primark get ready with me, like all their makeup products, and I did buy that. I have them sitting here and hopefully very, very soon we're gonna crack them open and we're gonna do a full face um, of makeup with first impressions and with Primark makeup products. Uh, but while I was there, I grabbed this little beauty holder because it was uh, down to a pound. And it's just a little holder that you can carry a beauty blender with you when you travel, but not just when you travel because it has all this mesh and it allows your product to dry. And that's really good because a lot of times when I travel, I find myself I throw my beauty blender on this, uh, you know, on on the sink or wherever I am, and then I'm like, oh, I need to wash it really good, or you know, you just want to hold it somewhere away from all the microbes and stuff like that. So yeah, I really recommend these. I haven't tested it yet, but I'm sure it's really good. Another thing that was recommended by you guys were the Invisible Bubbles. I grabbed mine from Superdrug. And I believe they were like, buy one, get one half price off or something like that. But yeah, I've been using the Primark ones. They're like a pound for six or something like that crazy. And they're like quite loose. So you have to like keep going around your hair a thousand times. And a lot of people told me to get these ones. So I listened and I did. And I can't wait to finally test them now that I finally finished, um, you know, filming this haul. Right. Next product I purchased is one of those cold, those amazing products that all like beauty gurus and people talk about and is the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. I actually wanted this more for like my hands, elbows, knees, things like that because I tend to get really dry skin in these areas and I have to say guys, I'll have to show you a bit. This is amazing. Uh, I tested it in the shop because, as I said, a lot of people rave about it, but I never actually tested it myself. And I was at the Elizabeth Arden counter, and I was like, you know what, I want to test this product. I have to show you, because it looks quite gross, it looks like this. It's quite weird, it, it's like a balm, and let me tell you, it does not smell good at all, at all, when I'm telling you that. But the consistency is beautiful, it's literally like a balm. It goes into your skin, it gives you a really nice shine to it. As I said, the smell, no, it smells not great at all. But the consistency of your skin and the shine you have in your skin and how your skin feels hours and hours after you use this product, even if you wash, like I've used it earlier and I wash my hands quite a few times and my hands are really, really nice and hydrated ever since. Um, so this is one of those products that I said I want to recommend because I was really, really impressed. And every time someone touches my hands ever since I have this and I put a bit here when I have dry hands, everyone was like, what are you, what are you using on your hands? Because they're so soft. So that's a product I would really, really recommend. If you can get past the smell and a bit the greasiness in it and you allow it to go into your skin, it's a beautiful product. I haven't tested it on my face because I have really, really sensitive skin. I don't want to break out, but for elbows, knees, things like that, I would really recommend it. The next product that I purchased, as you can see, it doesn't look uh, at its greatest and that's because I already took it out of the packaging, but I haven't tested it yet, is this Ball Metals um, Miracle Sponge. It's the Diamante one. And it came with a stand and obviously I had to have it. I've been told by a lot of people that this sponge is amazing. I used the Real Techniques original one, you know, the orange one. And it's beautiful, beautiful sponge. I would really recommend that one. And it's only like five, six pounds. This one was a bit more expensive. I, I want to say it was like 12, 13 pounds or 15 around there with the stand. 
but it was so gorgeous I had to to buy it but yeah if you guys tested it before let me know if you want me to come back with impressions about it and let you know let me know right I have three products from Yves Saint Laurent and one of them became really quickly my just must have uh, the first one is the Touche Eclat Le Tain. It's in I have mine in B40 sand and it's this foundation and guys I went to YSL counter and I bought the other two products I'm about to show you and they gave me a sample you're gonna see that probably in my empties as well and I was so so impressed with that that I had to go and purchase the full size bottle this is beautiful no it doesn't have like an extreme coverage so if you have problematic skin I would say you have to conceal before applying this but I have quite a few problems on my skin and I just conceal them before but this foundation looks like your second skin I'm not even joking I'm wearing it today it's just so so beautiful I can't recommend it enough just go and ask for a sample they're more than happy to always give you samples there uh, go a shade darker than what you think because I want to go with the lighter one it was so light I looked like a dead corpse and I actually had to go with B40 sand it is quite dark if you look but that's my color I'm telling you and yeah just beautiful foundation I can't recommend it enough the items I actually went to purchase in the first um, trip to YSL was this concealer and it came in this like really nice limited edition packaging it's just their Touche Eclat uh, in um, is it number one yeah is the pinky undertone one I love it for illuminating under my eye and I'm so so happy that I can finally use it now that I've done this haul uh, I wouldn't recommend it just as a concealer because I think you need to conceal or correct underneath it if you have any issues but as an illuminator it just brings so much beauty to the skin and while I was purchasing that uh, the girl there asked to put this powder on and I've heard so many things about this powder. It's called Souffle de Clart in 01. And again, it's a pink undertone. And oh my God, this is just so beautiful. I did not use mine yet. As you can see, mine is still like untouched. And I can't wait to now again. I'm saying this for the a thousand times since I uh, started this video. But I can't wait to finally use this. And use it with that... Um, concealer because it's such a beautiful combination right while I was in there I went quite mental with all this like high-end purchases I'm telling you can you tell I have a new job yeah you do I purchased two items from Dior and one of them is the plumping lash primer I've heard so many amazing things about this product it looks like this I have to show you I actually been using it and I am so impressed with it my uh, brush is a bit dirty at the moment because obviously as much as you clean your lashes sometimes they still have a bit of mascara on so the brush dirtied a bit but guys I can't recommend this enough just go and give it a try maybe try it in the shop if you you know it's quite an expensive purchase so if you don't want to just you know just go and purchase it at least go to the shop and tell them to put it on put a mascara on top and you'll be surprised it's amazing and while I was there purchasing this they kept talking about this Dior show mascara and I have mine the volume uh, sur mesure professional something like that it's in 090 pro black it looks like so and I'm going to show you quickly the brush and I have to say this mascara again just just I love it so much the brush is amazing it has natural bristles on it and what I love most about it is it's not a really wet mascara so from first use it's already like really creamy because what I hate really hate about mascaras is the fact when you apply it and it just goes all over your eye i just hate that about mascaras and this one is not wet so i would really recommend this if you're after a new mascara just give this one a try as well another product i wanted to try and test for a long long time and i'm wearing again today is the grandiose by lancome and is their liner I've heard so many good things about this that i was like oh my god i have to test this you know the bottle is just beautiful beautiful you just can't get over it and it also has this like weird thing about the brush so you can like open it up and then if you you know you need your hand to go like this you can actually do this with the applicator and it's amazing it is extremely extremely black the only thing i was a bit disappointed in is the fact that they're not natural bristles on the applicator i'm going to show you because I didn't actually show you it's just a sponge tip applicator and that disappointed me a bit because it doesn't give me the full flexibility I want it is extremely black it is really nice it doesn't like budge and things like that I would recommend it but I'm still on the hunt for the perfect perfect eyeliner 
while I was on the hunt for the perfect eyeliner, I thought I'm going to try the NYX one as well. It's in 06 Collection Noir Liquid Black Trace Liquid Eyeliner. It looks like this. It's just their like normal black eyeliner, to be honest. Nothing special. This one, obviously, a lot cheaper. It has a, a brush on it. A fact that I like it's a very very precise brush very thin but again what I don't like about this one is that it's too thin it is extremely black extremely black is the one here extremely beautiful but such a small like brush on it that I can never like achieve something thicker it's always a very very fine brush and I just want something that's in between just slightly thicker than this a few more hairs probably would have been perfect Right, what else did I buy? Let's keep it to NYX. I grabbed two more items from uh, NYX uh, and it's from their lingerie collection. The first one is in Bedtime Flirt. Again, a colour that I've heard so much about. I still have a bit of that grease on my hand, by the way, guys, because I told you it is a bit greasy. Right, so Bedtime Flirt, it looks like this beautiful, beautiful colour. It's like a really, really nice, a bit orangey nude, just my colours. I'm actually, uh, I think I told you at the beginning, I'm using a lingerie one on my lips today in, in embellishment. Beautiful, this Bedtime Flirt is beautiful. And the next colour I brought is uh, bought is Push Up. Their applicators are amazing, the formulas on this lingerie they're just beyond me they're beautiful beautiful this one is more like a really true brown as you can see here but it's again beautiful color and I think it suits everyone one item that I actually repurchased is from Rimmel it looks like this it's East End Snob 063 I actually just finished mine and I just couldn't think you know my I just I just had to have it again. It's a beautiful colour. I would recommend it for everyone. I think it's one of those colours that suits every single person and skin tone and, and everything. And I would really recommend it. They're like £2.50 at the moment in Asda. So go and grab yourself a deal if you're interested. And another item I grabbed from Rimmel is this. And it's a new product. And it's Brow This Way. Sadly, I have to tell you, this item disappointed me to the max. It's supposed to be just a clear uh, eyebrow gel. And it's infused with argan oil and everything, but it doesn't keep your eyebrows in place at all. All I could say is I'm going to use this as a nighttime treatment, just to put some argan oil on my eyebrows because it doesn't keep them in place and it makes them a bit um, greasy. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend. Sadly, I wouldn't recommend this product. But yeah, what can we do? Another item I grabbed is from Birds Bees. This was like one of those purchases while I was in Holland and Barrett there. It wasn't something I really needed, but I actually thought this is going to be a colour one. It smells beautiful. It's the one in Wild Cherry, and it's a really good, um, you know, lip product. But yeah, I thought actually, seeing the lid on this, I thought it's going to have some colour to it, but it didn't, so that was a bit disappointing. Right, the last products I bought, they're from, for nails, two from Essie. I bought this top coat, and it is their 3D pop tint one, gel-like finish, blah, blah, blah. Looks like this, just keep in mind, it's a really nice top coat. The finish on it is beautiful, but keep in mind that that purpley colour actually applies on top of your nail polish. I also grabbed this nail polish from Essie in the colour Moochie Moochie or Mookie Mookie, something like that. And these two together go beautifully, but I can't imagine putting this on top of a white because it's going to give it a tint, I don't know. But yeah, really nice together. My, I have to say, my nails with this two lasted for two weeks and a half. Yeah, two weeks and a half. So I would recommend them just because of that. So keep in mind this combination. An item that really disappointed me, again, going uh, for nails, is from Formula X. And this is in what colour? Doll face. Looks beautiful. It looked gorgeous on the nails, but sadly just chipped after, I would want to say, like, two, three days. Really disappointed me because I heard so many cool things about this Formula X. And also, it needed a few coats to look as nice and opaque as in the bottle. But, yeah, that's just me. Maybe it's just mine. Maybe it's just this colour. But... For me, I wouldn't just go and purchase another one tomorrow because they disappointed me a bit. The last items I have here, they're items that have been sent to me. Oh my God, I can't even think the month. must have been like two, three months ago. 
They're from Zoe, one of my viewers, Zoe here. Hi Zoe, if you're watching, probably you are because you always watch me. I just wanted to publicly say thank you so much for these items. She actually sent me a little box from Beauty Bay. It was a surprise. I didn't know she sent me anything. It, it, it's just, I can't thank you enough, Zoe. Uh, we spoke about this ages ago and uh, I just can't believe you guys would spend your money on me, to be honest. I don't want you to do stuff like that. I love cards and things like that. Products, yeah, I love them, don't get me wrong, but I don't want you to spend money on me. But she sent me two amazing products. Well, they're like some of her favorites and products uh, and brands I never tested before. The first one is Morphe. I'm wearing it on my eyes today. It's a pressed pigment in the color uh, Rodeo Drive. Bear with me a second because this packaging, I have to rip it. This packaging is a bit hard to open. It looks like this. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. And I was really impressed because I never tried Morphe eyeshadows. I'm gonna give you a quick swatch here, but keep in mind, just look at this beauty. This is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. And the next item she sent me is her favorite lipstick from Gerard Cosmetics. And this one is in the color Share. And again, a product that I'm still to test more because I, I'll be honest, I forgot about it in the last month in this box. But a lot of people are raving about these uh, liquid lipsticks from Gerard Cosmetics and I'm looking forward to test it out more. This is the color, again, a really, really beautiful color, very close to the one I'm wearing today actually. But yeah, I wanna see how it dries, how it wears on your lips proper and everything like that. So again, thank you so much Zoe for thinking of me. You know, it meant a lot, a lot to me. Um, that's what, all I have for you guys today. That's all I purchased in the last month. I have a feeling I'm gonna go shopping again soon because I received some uh, money for my birthday, so I want to go and grab a few things. But for now, that's it. I hope I'm gonna be more active and I'm gonna have more very, you know, more videos coming your way. And that's about it. I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you had an amazing Easter, by the way, if you celebrate. And that's about it. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope. I'm repeating myself a thousand times. Just have a great day, mate. I hope to see you soon in my next video. And that's it. Bye. Oh, I forgot. Until next time. Oh my God. What's wrong with me? Until next time, as always, say, please don't forget to stay beautiful inside and out. Bye, guys.